Hello, so this is going to be a stream where um, we try and hunt down surplus whatever for people who want to find any. So what I'm just going to do is open up Weapon Collector's eBay affiliate link because I want to make sure he gets some money out of this because it won't mean you pay any more your end, but it means he gets like 10% or whatever if you spend. I think sometimes it's less than that, but um, you know, it'll obviously help him out. So we're going to do it from his affiliate link. So basically what we're going to do in this stream is if people... Um, you know, or after a certain bit of surplus or whatever, what we're going to do is um, see if we can find it on eBay so I can look for people, because quite often people can't find stuff and then I find it for them. Um, but I thought we'd do an entire stream of that. So I'm just going to go on his channel and get his eBay link up. Shop at eBay. There we go. Right. So let's get his eBay link up. There we go. Right, what I'll probably have to do is copy that uh, link and hope it actually works for the chat because I don't know with this if it's actually going to just, um, if I put the links in, put it back to normal eBay. Like when I share them, I don't know if it keeps his affiliate code in there, but we'll find out. So I'm waiting for somebody to say hello because there's nobody in the chat yet. All right, that guy, you're actually on. Yeah, I'm all right, Mike. <clears throat> What's quite interesting is um, this arrived today. Actually, I wonder if that's the focus bit there. But um, this came, which is like one of those microscopes you plug into the computer and then you can film with it. So I'm going to be using this. So if I'm looking at asbestos in filters in videos or whatever, um, I can actually show it rather than people having to take my word for it that it's there. So that should be quite good. Um, but yeah. So basically, if you guys didn't hear, what we're going to do um, is look for stuff on eBay using Weapon Collector's affiliate link, which means you don't pay any extra if you buy through it, but he does get like 10% of the total cost. Um, all right, see you, Dark Shadow. Um, so this is going to be mostly a stream for when people, you know, keep saying things like, oh, I want to buy this mask on eBay, or where did you get that on eBay? I can actually look for them, find one for sale, and then if you wanted to get one, Mike should get a bit of money from it. All right, and then Russian, I haven't seen you on in a while. Hello, x -Aid. All right, you can find Grunt. Cool, yeah, it's, most schools in the UK finish about 3 p.m. if I remember right, but I um, haven't been to school for years, so there you go. But... um. Yeah, so is there any particular masks, helmets, or whatever people are interested in to begin with? Uh, anything new? There's a lot of new stuff, Unknown Russian, if you've not seen it, because store has been sending me a load of stuff for free to do reviews on again. Um, so if you haven't seen the recent videos, there's like Geiger counters, um, body armor, and that sort of stuff. Yep, surplus. This is going to be a stream where we hunt down surplus, but I'm still waiting for somebody to say, I'm looking for this sort of thing and I can't find it so we can have a look. Because normally on a normal stream, I get those questions all the time. But now it seems when I've done a specific stream for it, nobody's going to come after it. I wish you could send me a bunker. That'd be quite good. But I don't think you can post one of those. All right, Heathen Wolf. Hello, Stug. Right, PC Dragon. Basically how it's going to work is if anybody in the chat wants to buy something on eBay but can't find it, because in normally when I do a stream, I, and don't forget to like the stream, by the way, because only four people have liked it so far, what normally happens is everybody keeps saying to me, where did you buy this, where did you buy that, or I can't find this, I can't find that. So the idea of this stream is if... Um, right, so strict arm jacket under 50. Right, let's have a look. I'm going to be using ebay.co.uk, but... You're obviously welcome to use your own eBay if it's easier. I can look for a CT12 for you. Right, so let's let's go. I, I'm using Weapon Collector's link, so I hope it works. Right, Avon, CT12. Let's see if any of those are for sale. And if I open another um, eBay link, there we go. I'm going to type in this German jacket, and then we'll have a look at some variants. Obviously, while I'm searching for one person's thing, I can't spend a load of time looking for other things. Um, but so far, I can't see any CT12s, but that's quite normal because CT12s are a lot rarer than FM12s. But no, unfortunately, unless you want an FM12, I don't think you're going to be getting um, that Avon series. 
All right, we're gonna have to search Strictan, aren't we? Because uh, or Strictan, however it's pronounced, because um, there's nothing coming up for these German jackets. So when you say jacket, um, do you mean the winter jackets, or do you just mean the shirt sort of thing? So I'm seeing a few different things coming up at the moment. But annoyingly, a lot from uh, from the um, US. So obviously, if you're not in the US, they're more expensive. But there's also, if you didn't explicitly need it in strict time, there is... Um, What I was going to say, there is the like other Eastern Bloc ones because I've got the Czech coat and I don't know if you can still get those cheap. Yeah, the Draga Simplex is the one the Israeli masks basically a clone of, isn't it? Oh, that's interesting. I think I've heard of it, Stug, but I don't know if I've ever seen it. I like the C4, but suddenly I don't have one. But yeah, if I look on eBay, let's see if I can find you. Um... Let's have a look. Um, see if I can get the... Um, yeah, this is quite um, a good thing. Right, I've got one of these. So although this isn't a strict harm jacket, these are pretty good. So let me just link you. Let me close Weapon Collector's page. So for... Um, who was it that asked? Oh, it was Zuckside, wasn't it? There you go. If you look at that link, although that's not strict on, I've got one of these and they're really good. And it's got the two camo patterns on. It's like the Czechoslovakian raindrop one. And this is the one that's got the infrared pattern on it. So if you look at it under night vision, you see that kind of like frog spawn looking pattern underneath the raindrops. You see that? Whereas with normally, you just kind of notice the normal one. But yeah, these are um, the Parkers, so they're the coats. It's not like a super warm winter jacket, but it does break the wind quite well. Right, should we do a filter search then, Mike, for people looking for filters? Um, I'll post a link as usual to um, FP5 filters, because I like FP5 filters, and I've never had a problem with them. But I'll also find some other filters for people who don't want to get FP5s. Um, depends if you want the new ones or the other ones. Uh, let's see. Right, there's one that B-Store is selling and one somebody else is selling, so I'll link to both, so people can't accuse me of being biased. So, there we go. There's two different links to FP5 filters. I don't know if these are in-date ones, though. Um, they'll, as they're sealed in foil, they'll last quite a while. But I think generally a lot of the sellers that have the in-date FP5s on have them listed at like as a separate listing for a higher price. There's also the Chinese filters. Uh, let me find some of those. Actually, let me just look up ABEC filters and see if there's any current like... Um, Oh, these are a bloody good price. They're probably expired. Let's have a look. Yeah, these expired in 2008, but are apparently still sealed. But if somebody did need a full-size filter, there's these as well. Yeah, that's exactly what this is, Hype. Find the surplus. So I'm hoping if I do one stream today where I find loads of people shit they keep asking for, it will stop it coming up in random streams all the time. Um, but as said, when I'm looking for things for people, I'm not going to be reading the chat. Food, food. I probably have about 150 gas masks at this point. Um, lots of them not really stored as well as they should be. What Polish filter was that? Like an FP5 hot potato or a different variant? You'll struggle to get the PDF hose back on because it doesn't screw on. PRVU. Right, cool. Let's have a look for PRVU. And what I'm doing is using Weapon Collector's um, 
thing. I assume the PLVU is a Russian thing, isn't it? Because at the moment it's just coming out of car parts. Oh yeah, it, there's one. There's one with £4.44 postage from Poland. Um, here we go. As I said, I'm using uh, Weapon Collector's uh, link, just because that way if anybody buys anything, it's still the same price for you, but Mike normally gets like a few percent of it, and because Mike's demonetized, and I support him on Patreon anyway, I thought it'd be quite good to um, see if we can get him, if anybody finds anything they want. That one had already been sent to me by somebody who's actually on our Discord server hype. Um, but yeah, I didn't end up buying that because I thought, as it's just the mask and no bag, I didn't really want to bother getting it. But, you know, they are harder to find. But, you know, if anybody wants that, there they go. Um, what was I going to... It's funny, it's got Browls related UDVDs on the right. And it's got some Barney film. Because, you know, when I'm looking at the PRVU, um, eBay seems to think I want to buy um, kids' films. Okay. Right. Um, what was the other things people were saying? PMG. PMG should be very easy to find. The Hungarian ones might come up as well. Uh, right. Somebody from Ukraine wants £30 postage for it so they can fuck off. But here is a Hungarian one. Although it says Soviet, this is actually the Hungarian model. Um, the one they've got pictured anyway. It's a decent price one. Uh, there you go. But, um, yeah. If you look at this one, as Frankish is good, I've bought a load of stuff from him before. Um, and what I'm going to do at some point, I keep saying this and forgetting, is do a video where I list lots of the people I buy from on eBay or have bought from in the past and had good things. You know, like actual sellers that generally have lots of stock in, not just somebody who's just got one item for sale. So S. Frankish would be on there, Beastle would be on there. Um, there's a few other ones as well, Surplus and Lost. This They'd probably mostly be for UK people, but it might give you good ideas of different sellers you can look at for stuff. So they've got medium, large. Also, if you're buying a PMG, buy it in a larger size than you think you need because they are really fucking tight PMGs, like the tightest Soviet mask. But yeah, that's the Hungarian one. The only difference is the voice diaphragm cover, as far as I'm aware. Has more holes in it. Night vision under £50. Right, cool. Let's see what I can find. Because I bet, if I'm lucky... Right, I'm going to do what I did before when I found good night vision, which was just type in Russian night vision when I found that amazing thing. Right. I can get some PNV 57s for under that price, but obviously we don't want those because they don't actually um, amplify things, do they? What's a TWN2? That looks quite interesting. It's like a periscope thing, is it? That's quite cool. I don't know how you'd plug it in, but somebody's got um, this for sale for under 150 if anybody wants it. There you go. So you could get a um, tank periscope night vision. That's quite cool. I have no use for it, though. But um, Let's see what else I can find. For some reason, when I type in night vision, hats keep coming up. Anyway, let's have a look at some more. Was that a thing that came up at the bottom then? I've not seen this one before. The postage is extortionate, but have a look at this. See what this is. Oh, that sounds horrible, Bing. Hope you recover from that, but. Yeah, that sounds horrible. I hope you get on all right. But yeah, let's hope it's um, asthma or something that can be treated, you know, with an inhaler or whatever. Because that's probably the least worst option, isn't it, there? All right, World War II M1 helmet. That might be more difficult to find. Because, um, you know, you want to want an actual genuine one, aren't you? Um, but you can get M1 helmet copies very cheaply. Most of the ones at the moment are on bids. Um, I mean, if you wanted... I know this isn't 
an actual World War Two M1, but if you just wanted an M1 cheap, it looks like um, I don't know if this is a proper surplus one. Oh no, I think this is a plasticky airsoft one. Yeah, ignore this one. Let me um, see if I can get one of the. Um, there you go. If you want, um, I've got one of these. I think it is the Danish M1 clones. So if you um, look at that, so because if you type in World War Two M1, you can find loads of auctions on them. But if you wanted an M1 sort of clone for a decent price, that is basically just an M1. That's the one I've got. I'm pretty sure I've got the Danish one. Yeah, it certainly wouldn't do that once, Hot Potato. What's that unknown Russian, sorry? Uh, I saw you said it's nice what size, but I don't know which one you're on about. PPSH or whatever you'd have to get from D&B Militaria. Um... Well, yes and no. I'm I'm shaving there. Um, I am going to just grow out a moustache now at this point because I quite like having it. Right, I hope that all works out for you, Mimi. That's really bad. But yeah, hopefully it works out as something not too bad. But it's good they're obviously doing it properly, isn't it? And because they found something, they're calling you in for more stuff. If there's a Z56 on there for a decent price, I'm going to be buying it before I share the link with anyone. But uh, I'll try Z56 gas mask and then Z56 respirator. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm buying it now because I found it for a good price. So thank you for that. I'm, I'm just buying the Z56 now. So I can get one for about 60 quid, is it? That is a bit expensive, 63 euros. But, you know, I want it. So there we go. Right, there we go. And that was bought using the affiliate link as well, Mike. So you've just got 60 odd euros from that. So, yeah, sorry, there was a. <laughs> yeah, I am using Mike's eBay link, Richard. The one I'm sharing is the one I've clicked from Mike. So, yeah, I'll definitely do a video on it. But, yeah, sorry. I'll, otherwise, I would have obviously linked you. But I've been after a Z56 for a while and I thought, fuck it, I've got the money. Yeah, I'll look into that Bing when it gets a bit longer, doing all that sort of taming of it stuff. But, but yeah, I, I've been after a Z56 for a while, but there was a point on eBay when you could sometimes get them for 30 quid, and I wish I bought one at that stage. But, you know, now I'm finally getting one anyway. So. Yeah, for some reason eBay gets, eBay gets funny about selling those. Unobtainium, okay, PMK4. Let's see what comes up. There's some paintbrushes. That's definitely not a PMK. I'm just going to type in Russian PMK and see what comes up in case one comes up that's listed under a funny name. It's probably all going to be PMK1s, isn't it? Apparently there was a Russian PMK hat as well, because they're all coming up. PMK ones for twenty eight quid, free postage from the Russian Federation. That's a good seller. Um, I think more Russian sellers should learn from that guy. There's a PMK free full set. That's not a bad price. Fuck it, I'm going to buy a PMK free. So I'm I'm spending too much money this stream. Um, I'll link. I think there's some more PMK frees for sale in a minute. But I'm yeah going to buy one because why not? Right, confirm and pay. Back to that. Probably either the M17 G Lucky, as in M17A2, or the PBF. The PBF has asbestos filters, but if they're intact, that's not a problem. Um, PBF I find the most comfortable. M17A2 is probably the most practical. So, yeah, PMK3 has been ordered. Um, I can, but yeah, no PMK4 showing up. But if anybody else wants a link to a PMK3, I think there's more in. Um, does this seller have more on? Because this is the set, not as in the seller's a moron. Oh, yeah, this seller's got more. So, yeah, this is the seller I just bought one from. Who 
Is the size 3 PMK really big? Oh, it's too large. Okay. The seller hadn't got sizes listed, so I'm just going to hope it's a good size, but I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Does it say? Um, after purchase, please specify your size you need, otherwise you'll get random size. Right. I will send seller a message. Um, contact seller. And I'll ask for a medium. Because medium masks normally fit me and I can't be asked to uh, measure my face for it. Uh, I have a question about using my item. I want to send the seller a message. Contact the seller. And hello. Could I please have a medium? Okay. Please, please. Send message. There we go. Done. Right. Back to eBay. Right. So let's go back to the chat. Ah, that's good. Cool. Ah, that's good, I guess. The doctor told you have a good spine, or a beautiful spine. Yeah, there's there's no story other than that it's a reproduction katana, but there is a video of it being used, and us denting the edge of it. Should we see if we can find the keyboard I'm using on eBay? I bet you can, but I bet they're expensive. Right, let's have a look. IBM Model M. I'm not buying another one. Fuck that. There we go. So if anybody wants a keyboard I'm using, I would definitely, if I hadn't got one, or this one broke, buy another one for 80 quid. Because it's like the world's best keyboard. Although for some reason this one hasn't got like the lights on it on the right side. So I don't know why that one is particularly different. It's also not the standard connector, is it? So you probably wouldn't want that one. Uh, you'd want the one with a PS2 slot. Um... Yeah, this one is the closest one to I've got. Hang on. Um, yeah, it's a QWERTY layout. Do you know if it will come hype with the thing that lets you put regular GOST filters on it? Because if that's the case, I'll just do that. But I know the PMK3 does have a unique filter thing, doesn't it? Let me search that camouflage soldier, because I don't know what that one is without looking it up. Oh, is that Ozcam? Oh, it's Ozcam. Yeah, I just know that as Ozcam. Yeah, it looks cool. I've not got any Ozcam, but Ozcam does look cool. Um, yeah, especially if it's not faded. All right, cool. I'll just use it with that then, rather than buying another filter. Yeah, it might be a while before that comes. I've also on order, but it might be a while before it comes. Got a what's it McCord coming uh, that Laser suggested. The MSA, um, 40 millimeter half face respirator. But that was one that could be one to three months before I get it. So when it comes, it comes. Maybe it'll come for Christmas if I'm lucky. A few years ago, Banana Boy, probably about 2010, 2011 sort of time. Yeah, I really like HBO's Chernobyl. Um, I need to watch that again because I've got on Blu-ray. But yeah, I've watched it through twice. Um, I've watched episode one like fucking loads of times. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely watch it again because I've got on Blu-ray, but I haven't just got round to it yet. I was thinking about maybe doing it this week, but I don't know if I want to try and get one episode watched today and then like two watch tomorrow, two watch Friday. I might leave it a week and then, you know, try and watch an episode a day kind of thing. Ah, oh, it's very good then, Hype, yeah. I'll Google it. I'm assuming it's a camo, is it? I know what MPT is, as in... Oh, sorry, MTP is in multi-terrain pattern. Let me just put camo at the end and see if it comes up. Or is this military preparations college? Is it that? I don't know. Anyway, let's go back to um, what we were on about. All right, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, anybody got anything else they want me to start looking for on eBay? 
for them and just get them a link if they're too lazy to do it themselves. Um, right. Apparently, Shock, Hype will tell you he's in the chat. Apparently, the export versions are, I think, the normalized ones. Um, but I think the internal Chinese ones are ghost. Um, let me just get you one of those hoses up, though, because lots of people never find them when I go on about them. So I'll, I'll get the one up I bought. And I want to put mask on, don't I? Um, right, this is the one I bought ages ago. Bulgarian filters. Um, unobtainium Geigers. Yeah, we could have a look for some weird Geiger counters. Um, but yeah. Right, so let's have a look for some weird Geiger counters then as well. See if there's anything cool that comes up. Uh, DP75, as I said, I did a video on that the other day. That's nice. Um, vehicle uh, Geiger counters. Oh, there's there's a US civil defense Geiger counter on here. I'm going to have to bid on that, aren't I? Mm, I'll do that. But now I've told you lot, you're going to bid as well. This is a pretty cool looking thing. Reminds me of my what's it? Oh, it's got an alpha probe as well. Right, if anybody wanted a Geiger counter with an alpha probe. There you go. Um, so this looks quite interesting. So what scale does it go up to? So counts per second, it goes up to 2K. So it's very similar then to my mini monitor in the background there. It's pretty much like the same style Geiger counter. So it's, but it's got the alpha probe on, which means you can, you know, get it to go crazy on smoke alarms and things like that. So yeah, that's a pretty cool looking kit. Are there any other interesting looking Geiger counters coming up? I'm just looking for sort of unusual things at the moment. Somebody's got pretty much that one I've got there listed for sale for 600 quid. Another one for 469. Yeah, if I just show you this, I'm not recommending you buy this for obvious reasons because it's a bit expensive. But that Geiger I've got there, yeah, Geiger Muller counter, I think is the technical name for it. But um, yeah, if you look at that one there, that is just the updated model of the one I've got. And that I got second hand for about 140 quid, I think it was. Um, so it's got a bit of a bigger alpha probe on this one. I don't know if that makes much difference. Does it have a check source on the side? I'm seeing if it's got a bit of smoke alarm glued to it. Yeah, it has, I think. It's got like a thing and then it says um, remove, I guess, if you want to do a check. But yeah. Or is it on the back? Let's have a look. I oh, know that's just a connector, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, I was quite lucky to get that one for 145. Thank you, Maxi. The Black Gas Mask Dose Katana, that's a GP5M. Let me find you one for sale. Hang on. I'm just trying to find one for a decent price because a lot of them are stupid postage. Right, this is the cheapest one I found. Hang on, let me link you. The postage isn't cheap, but the mask itself is cheap. And it's listed as the black rubber one. There you go. It's also called the PMG2. All right, that M17 guy. Okay, let me search that hype. Have you got a Discord yet? Because if you have, remember, you've got... You're due an invite. I haven't seen what the Bud K collector's kit is. Um, anyway, let me uh, 
search the things type just said, oh, I don't need to search try, do I? Radio meter Geiger counter radiation detector. Is this the thing? Because I found one if you want one. <clears throat> there you go. Is this the thing? It's quite cool looking. It's got a lot of accessories, hasn't it? Oh, it's even got an alpha probe with it by the look of it, if you wanted to use an alpha probe. So it does ronk gun per hour and milli ronk gun per hour. So that would be £505 with £77 postage. But yeah, apparently that's the thing. You're not block planes, no. Military periscope. It does for donators, yeah. Oh, but what's your number, that M17 guy? Because you have to also put a number for me to find you on Discord. You have, like, a number. Right, Bulgarian. How do you know Bulgarian filters don't have asbestos, though? I can see if I can find Bulgarian filters. I've technically got um, a Bulgarian PG-1 filter, but it looks just like a Soviet filter. For most of the time, I'm finding a cigarette rolling filters. I guess they wouldn't have asbestos in. There's also Bulgarian honey coming up. For £15.45, you can buy 1.5 kilos of um, honey from Bulgaria. Not too bad. Yeah, the tag on the hashtag. Cheap boiler hazmat suit. Well, a boiler suit isn't the same thing as a hazmat suit, but let me see if I can find you a cheap NBC suit, because that's like what I think you're asking. Um, yeah, you could get a very cheap... Uh, hang on. Let me see if I can find the cheapest one listed. I'll, I'll link you to this one, because at least it's in a new condition, as in it's sealed, yeah. These are sealed. Here's some British Mark III NBC suits, if you want to look like the soldiers from Fred's. Uh, 0255, so that M17 guy, 0225. All right, let me just go on Discord quickly and add you so I don't forget. Then I'll look for an M3. I want an M3, and I've spent too much money today already. This is the problem with uh, you suggesting things I actually want to me. <laughs> Right, I need to check the capitalization of your name. So let me go up again. Is it all lowercase then? Let's try that. And that's still not working, that M17 guy. Oh, hang on. I think it might have been because there was a space at the front when I pasted it. Still doesn't like it, though. I'll keep that up on there, and then when you work out what your exact name is, you can let me know. I can't get Yugoslavian bayonets on eBay, because bayonets can't be sold on UK eBay. They don't let you do it. Yeah, get a GP5 July Brothers, or Julie Brothers, and um, put a uh, new filter on it. Right, I'll Google that then. Hang on, Shock PC. Let's see what Bud K is selling. I'm not. Oh, there we go. Gas mask, Bud K. So, what's. Oh, here we go. So, for $39.99, you get a Polish MUA that they've called the Polish MP3, a Polish MC1, and what looks to me like a GP5, but they've called it a Shim 41. But I don't think it is a Shum 41 because, no, it's not. So, yeah, it's a GP5, an MUA, and an MC1 for $40. I suppose that's not bad. I mean, you get three lots of filters that probably contain asbestos. And that's definitely not um, a Shum 41 because the sort of intake outtake valve is too small. And it's got the uh, bigger filter that came with a GP5, not the full size coffee can or uh, EO14. I suppose that's good, cool, G-Lucky, that you can buy, buy Yugo equipment cheap. 
I guess don't click the links then, Bing, if you don't need to. Um, are you allergic to silicon, mate? Because if you're not allergic to silicon, I can uh, find you a silicon gas mask pretty easily. Hang on. Um... I think technically this might be the cheapest one for sale, but there we go. I'll, I'll link you to two different ones. There's that one. And then there's this one. So I like the Spassiani and it's like a soft blue silicon on it. Uh, so that's not latex. So if you have a latex allergy, it shouldn't be a problem. Yep. And there's also a GP7 there if he's looking at that one. Uh, I've got a few hard face respirators. The one I'd recommend out of the ones I've got so far, because bear in mind the MSA one hasn't turn up, turned up yet, 3M um, 6000 series or 7500 series, all the Chinese copies of them. Um, the Scott half face mask that takes 40 millimeter filters. And the other one I'd recommend, although it's not like a proper half face respirator, is the Alpha Mesh or whatever they called it, like dust mask, because that one actually does sit tight to your face because they've got like an intelligent design system to it. You know, where it's got kind of like rigid rubber on the outside rather than it just being a bit of fabric. All right, let me look surplus warehouse at VS, although annoyingly, I think I'll probably end up buying some and then uh, spending more money I shouldn't be buying. But, um, oh, he's, he's got somehow this person has the um, old um, British improved Northern Ireland body armor plates in. 30 quid isn't bad for um, hard plates, though, for body armor. And they've got uh, X. They've got an armadillo riot shield like mine for 34 95 Surely somebody wants to buy that. Hang on. Let me link this. Let me just get out. Armadillo shield. Here we go. So, yeah, this seller has this in. There's plenty of good masks other than the M50 and M53. And the M50 wouldn't be good for most people because you're not going to get the filters, are you? That's a good idea, Stu. I've not got an army tent, but I imagine they're pretty good if you want to go camping, are they? So it's that M17 guy, capital M. Let me try it that way then. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. You're added. Thank you. And then when you accept that, I can invite you to the server. I know, but I'm saying you'd have to get a C50, wouldn't you? Because an M50, as good a mask as it is, isn't suitable for most people because it's a proprietary filter. It's like if you got the Scott GSR, you're going to struggle to get the filters, you know, easily for it. Um, none of my Soviet masks or, like, Warsaw Pack copies have ever torn. I suppose it's possible that some could, but I've not found any. Cheapest Gen, Gen 2 night vision. Hmm. I don't actually know um, enough names of different Gen 2 units to find a good one. You could also donate via YouTube Super Chat planes is the easiest way for most people because you just that does the money via google and then you just do what that m17 guy did just post your discord straight in the thing but i'm on the discord um gas mask um thingy bob one now the god server gas mask official discord there we go i couldn't think why it's i'm actually on there now so you know i am there right invite to server that m17 guy there we go done It's 30% hype, but the problem is if people use Patreon, it still does 10% and 10%, I think. So it doesn't work out all that different. 
And the annoying thing is for Patreon, if you're in the UK, you get VAT charged on it. So it doesn't really make a difference to me. I've got an RPK that is deactivated. And I don't think I could find a GP5, it's too hard. The um, Canadian C4 tech storm. Yeah, I did. So, yeah, it's quite interesting. I mean, I still don't know what ele what would make you score higher on the P-score other than it's just basically really family-friendly, bland content. But Yeah, thank you, Ghost Jesus. You want the merch. Look, there's even merch on this mug. There's plenty of filters that don't use asbestos. Like, pretty much every modern filter doesn't have asbestos in it. Why NBC suit? I'm sure they exist. Hang on. Let's have a look. So, I've got so many tabs open at the moment. NBC suit. Let's see if we can find an interesting one. There's the dirty grey East German ones that are very cheap. I'll link you to that. This might not be exactly what you're after, but I like the East German suits. But yeah, do you want a pure white one? Um... Let's, let's see if we can find anything. Most of the ones coming up are British Mark III and Mark IV suits. But yeah, let's see if we can find some... Ooh. Huh. There's, there was one I was very tempted to buy then, but I need to stop myself because um, I spent too much today on eBay already. Getting that Z56 and PMK free. I'll search chemical suit, because sometimes loads get listed under that. Here's a disposable one, if you wanted a, um, one. Hang on, let's see what else there is. Main colour, white, select size. Oh, actually, that doesn't look like a proper chemical suit because you can see through it. So you'd want something like this, wouldn't you? I've got a tie chem, but I don't like how they do up, just to let you know. And they'll crinkle when you walk. Oh, thank you, planes. Cheers. Let let me just sort you out now before I forget. So here we go. Uh, add friend. There we go. Thank you. You gave me your name right first time. That's good. Um, it's pending from me. It's got my same YouTube picture as my Discord picture. I'm just waiting for you to accept it. As soon as you accept it on Discord, I will invite you. Because if I invite you now, it won't actually put you on. Thank you. Right, there we go. And now I need to find you on the bigger list with more people on it. Invite to server. There we go. You've got an invite. Have fun. DuPont Tychems are technically NBC suits, uh, but they're kind of disposable suits. That's the only problem with them. If, if you were asking NBC suit as in what is an NBC suit, nuclear, biological, chemical suit, the idea is basically it just protects you from outside contamination. They're, they're not like super magic suits. They don't like magically block gamma radiation or anything. I quite want to get a bright orange chemical suit. Um, but... Again, I'm not going to do it today, but I've got the DuPont Tychem, haven't I, which is orange. But, yeah, so no, I wanted to get one that's... Because what was really cool, I saw that um, East Germany um, actually... Um, what was I going to say? Used to do a rubber, like the regular NBC suits, but in like bright orange-red colour. And I really want one of those, but I have never seen them for sale. I just saw it on somebody's website who like collects loads of different gas masks and that.
Anyway, let's go back to um, the thing. You have to donate to get on the Discord, but um, if people are interested in Gas Mask, there's obviously the Gas Mask official Discord. This stream, GP5, is helping people buy surplus. Or well, they say in the chat, oh, can you find this? And then I post a link. That, that's literally all it is. But it's just because on loads of bloody um, streams, people keep asking me, oh, where can I buy this? Where can I buy that? So I thought I'd just do it for the entire stream. Just literally let me Google that for you, but let me eBay that for you sort of thing. I've ended up spending like £100 myself on this bloody stream. Because, um, yeah... Somebody suggested the Z56, and then I saw one for a good price, so I actually bought it. And then somebody else suggested a PMK4. I think it was hype. And then I saw a PMK3 for a decent price, so I bought it. Okay, let me have a look for an M5985 for you. Oh, that's why people donating helps, because it lets me, obviously, um, get more of this stuff. Right, thanks. So thanks to everyone that donates. Right, let me... Um, Yugoslavian helmet. There's a couple of different things you can try for getting these. Um, right, I think I found you one for a not stupid price. It's actually like the Serbian thing on the front of it rather than the Yugo one. Um, but here you go. Let me just link this. This looks, yeah, this is definitely the M5985 style one if it's the uh, same one you get as in the picture. Let me just uh, pop that onto the chat yeah there you go this is what it looks like so look at that and see if that's what you wanted but you could if you didn't if you wanted to look more like the original yugo thing you could always i guess put a cover on it but there's other um Let me just search Steel Helmet on eBay and see if any cool things come up for decent prices. Again, if you want a really bloody cheap helmet that's an Italian M33 clone, this is the one I got Bart for his birthday. 13 quid for a helmet, not bad, is it? Um, what else is there? I'm looking for, like, particularly interesting things that aren't too bad priced. This is only 15 quid with a bit of postage, so this doesn't seem bad. I think this is a Czechoslovakian helmet by the look of it. Yeah, it is Czechoslovakian, so I recognise the emblem on the inside. OVL body armor, right? Let's have a look. I don't know if Beach Store's got any. I assume he has because he sent me some. Or it was the OVL, wasn't it? He sent me. Was it OLV armor? Let me just search Polish armor. Some. Oh, when I type Polish armor and it comes up with nail polish armor, which is definitely not what I want. Let's see. So I assume you want a complete kit, do you, rather than um, the individual one? But let's have a look. There's a lot of them coming up are just like individual components from it. Poland Army Body Armor. Is there any uh, complete kits? Because a lot of them are just the liners. Yeah, let me check if Beastall's actually got any of those left for sale. Because I can't see any coming up. But again, sometimes it's really weird with eBay. Where you, even though you know what you're looking for, you literally can't find the bloody thing anyway.
Uh, yeah, I think it's this one. Is it? I think he has got some in. Hang on. Right, thank you. Thank you very much, Hype. I really appreciate that. You're already on the Discord, so you didn't need to buy it. But yeah, cheers. That's uh, lowered the loss a bit of me going, oh, I'm, I'm impulse buying all this shit. But yeah, you do meet some very interesting people, don't you, on um, weirdos who are in, like me, who are into uh, collecting all this fucking Millsup. But I, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these extra gas masks. Clutter the house up even more. Especially if I'm meant to be moving out, and I don't know where I'm going to put all that bloody stuff. I was having that conversation with Mike the other day. But it's probably a lot of this stuff is just going to have to stay here. And then when I move out, move a little bit of stuff with me and then come back here to do videos. I've already got an orange NBC suit shock PC. I was just saying that it would have been nice if I could find that particular East German one. There are generally are loads of vintage lighters on eBay. Let me have a look. Um, do, do, do. If you type in vintage lighter, generally, you can find quite a lot of old ones. That's, I'm going to put on buy it now so that it only comes up with the ones that you can get right now rather than, um, you know, having to bid on. But let's see if there's anything particularly cool looking. There's a pretty cheap, um, like one of those table lighters. Hang on. Like that. Uh, let me go back again. And let's see what else there is. You can generally get very cheap vintage lighters on eBay. This is a weird looking thing. Uh, pen lighter. There you go. Oh, the Polish cheek filter mask is called the MP4, but I can get you one of those up quite easily. Right, here we go. I'll see if the MP4Bs are up here as well. Because there's two versions, isn't there? Are all the MP4Bs been sold now? Oh, here we go. All right, so here's the MP4B, which is the MP4 of the drinking tube. And let's have a look. Yeah, there's the uh, regular MP4s that B-Store's got as well. They're pretty much the exact same price. If I was you, I'd go for the MP4B, considering that they're like newer production masks and they've got a drinking tube on it. The drinking tube on the MP4B is actually quite good because um, it just screws in on the chin and then you waggle that bit to get the tube to go in and out of your mouth. So... You know, it works quite well for what it is. I've got so many bloody tabs open now. Right, let me just close a load of tabs. Right, okay, so what was the other things we were looking for that people suggested? The thing is, I've already, as I've said, I've already got, like, a dirt cheap orange NBC suit. The point was that there's a very specific East German, like, orange red NBC suit. Um, you should probably get replacement tubes, that M17 guy. The, um, if you buy any of the Polish MP5 drinking tube kit, it's basically the same stuff. Because they basically carried over the MP4's drinking system onto the MP5. But yeah, that should work fine. Right, what was... Um... Well, that might be sensible, Adam, but I'd be a bit worried about renting that and then having people break in and steal all my shit. Yeah, that's what I did, Bing. He has it on the second account, not the first one. But I was just saying, when I was searching eBay, I wasn't finding it, but it's that weird thing of you have to kind of know the exact terms or it doesn't show it, which can be really annoying. Yeah, I've got Steam. I wouldn't tell people randomly on here what my Steam is, because when I've done that before, I get like 300 friends requests. So, um, that's good for America, Jacob, but because I'm in the UK, um, I think the postage from there, if they even ship to the UK, would be pretty expensive. Um, but I know like Bud K and all those are pretty good for people in the US. And there's like Veru Strelka or whatever. When you say Mark 7 respirator, which respirator do you mean? 
Do you mean like the second vari variation of the light anti-gas respirator? All right, cool. Let me have a look on Alibaba then, if they're actually cheaper on there. Well, it's AliExpress technically, isn't it? But for outside China, but ABEC filter in masks. I like how a lot of the ones coming up are not even um, ABEC filters. They're like bloody dust masks. Yeah, that's an ABEC filter, isn't it? A dust mask. Um, but yeah, let's see if the one you're on about comes up. Maybe I'll have to actually use. Um, Is it like literally on Alibaba rather than AliExpress? Or um, the Thing Beast or sent me that giant hazmat suit tech storm has rubber glue and giant sections of the fabric that you know the suit's made out of, like the rubber, so you can cut bits off and paste it on, and it glues. It's actually Alibaba, right? Let me have a look. But yeah, if, if they're on there, that's a lot cheaper than... That's like half the price of what they are on... Um, thing. Right, ABEC P. Oh, yep, well done. Thank you. Oh, they're much cheaper on here, aren't they? That's very good. Right. Um... I'll link this for the people who are wondering, assuming eBay actually lets me link, not eBay, YouTube lets me link to Alibaba. But there you go. Assume this is the listing you're on about, wasn't it? And these are actually the decent Chinese filters, not the um, refillable ones that are useless. Oh, minimum order of 10. I suppose that if you wanted loads of filters, that's not too bad. This one's a one set min order. Uh, it's got a weird. Oh, I thought it was a CGI video to start with, but it's just it on a mannequin. There you go. I was going to say that one's. Um, I know these aren't the full size filters, but that's not a uh, bad price for um, these sort of filters. I suppose it depends which model you go for, does it? Ah, okay, thank you, Hype. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I've been using AliExpress before. So, yeah. So, it's business to business. All right, thanks for letting me know. So, yeah, by the sound of it, you can't order from there. You have to see what's on AliExpress. Uh, let's go back on AliExpress then and see if we can find um, stuff on there. I'll see if I can find that Chinese respirator I really like on AliExpress, the one I got off eBay. Oh, this isn't a bad price, actually. I'm kind of tempted to impulse buy this. Oh, I think it depends on if you are ordering the mask, doesn't it, or the thing. Right, one set of masks. One piece is masks. So why is... Oh, one set includes the filter as well. But yeah, 38... I won't bother getting one of these now, but they have the Israeli 4A1 copy on here. There you go, that's the Israeli 4A1 copy. Um... I don't know how good that is or not, but you know, I'm saying that that literally exists. But let me see if I can find that thing I got. I've got that I like. Um, there's an FMJ08 for twenty seventy eight, or is that just a filter? Mask and filter ninety seven dollars. Mask eighty three dollars. I suppose that's not too bad. Yeah. Anyway, what was the one I was actually going to look up? Um, for the person who sent me a link, if they're watching the stream, I won't check it till after the stream's ended. Um, but yeah, let me have a look at, what was it? I don't know if I put panoramic mask, if it will turn up or if it will just be the diving ones, but it's like the 3M style one that takes 40 millimeter filters, because I've got that and quite like it. Um... Let me just put respirator in and see what comes up.
Oh, if you actually want an alright half face mask, uh, these are pretty good. Annoyingly, I don't know if it's super easy to get the filters for them. But, oh, the link's too long to post. Great. Is there a way I can get a shortened link for this? Um, does that make a link? No, that's report bug. Okay. Leave. Right. Um, yeah, the half face masks that are actually not shitter on the here for like three quid. Um, three dollars. But yeah, I don't know if there's a way of sharing it, but because the link's too long for the YouTube thing, but if you type in painting, spraying, gas mask, respirator, activator, carbon mask, un anti-particulate filters, anti-dust, anti-fog mask, you get the good half face ones come up. Let's just see if I can find that full face one I've got that I actually like. It's like a 3M style one, but it's not the 3M mask. Let me put 40 millimeter in. Oh yeah, for anybody that wanted them. This one's called the MF one rather than the uh, TF one or whatever, but it seems pretty much to be the same mask. If the, oh, the link's too long again. This is annoying with Ali uh, Express. It seems all the links are too long for me to share. Right, never mind. I won't keep looking for masks on here. But, yeah. I've sort of thought of it, Textum. I've got a few different rounds, but I don't think I've ever done a video on it. All right, okay, so the leg straps. That's cool, you've got one marked as Stasi. Right, the leg straps on an East German NBC suit, um, what they should do is it should... Um, this is going to be really stupid to try and demonstrate about the NBC suit, but basically where your foot goes into it in the boot, there should be like a rubber kind of thing like that, you know, like the rubber thing, and you basically pull it over, then there should be kind of like a spike peg thing um, you kind of, you know, tie it a certain sense and then push the buttons together. I'm trying to remember how the, um, East German one worked rather than the, um, Polish L1 and L2 suits. I think the East German one's got the little buttons, hasn't it? So what you do is you kind of pull it tight, then push the popper into the thing, and that's how you tie it. Oh, you can just delete the bloat. Okay, let me try that then. Right. So let's delete everything after html and see if it works yeah you're right <laughs> i don't know why they have all that but yeah that is the actual decent half face mask um that i've got uh that you know for that price isn't bad at all if you just wanted a half face mask that actually functions here is um the tf1 style mask although they've called it the mf1 on there um Here is the what's set that I like. Don't bother buying this as the complete set of the filter because that's a shit filter. But let me just link to this. Here's a MF11, which is the export version of the FMJ05, I believe. Uh, just twist one around like that, if that makes sense. So, like, when you get one to the back, just do that with it. And then um, you'll be able to click it in. So there's that one. None of these are bad prices. There's a pewter, so I'm not going to link anybody to that because uh, I don't want to kill them horribly with the awful straps. Uh, but is this mask actually listed on here? Oh, it is. Good, good, good. Right, this is the mask I like. Um, I found it. So, yeah, with this one, just choose it with no filters. So you want to get the TF one, do you, rather than the MF one? Because I've got the MF1A, haven't I? Which is the one with the shitty glued on valve. So, um, yeah, maybe get the ones that say TF1 then. But yeah, that's the one I actually like, the last one I linked. Like, really like, because it's um, basically a panoramic 
respirator with decent strap system and everything. It's not the best one in the world, but it's completely serviceable and functional. Um, and yeah, you can just put 40 millimeter filters on it. So for the um, price on here of that one, what was it? Um, the mask itself, if I click it, the mask itself is basically $30. So that's not bad at all. And it's free shipping. So again, getting a brand new mask for $30 isn't bad at all, is it? I'll probably finish the stream fairly soon, but thank you everybody for the donations. I really appreciate that. And hopefully people have found stuff to buy. I know I found some stuff to buy that I was never intending. Um, but there we go. And if anybody did buy anything off of eBay, hopefully the link worked where, um, as I said, I was using Mike Weapon Collector's affiliate link. So although it work out the same price for you, it means eBay gives them an extra couple of percent as a referral. So it means you could probably just buy some crossbow bolts or, you know, more stuff to bash Zombat with. Not as far as I'm aware, Techstorm. The only thing I've got that I can particularly think of that's weird like that is I have a British tortoise helmet, or turtle helmet, whichever one you want to call it, um, which has a hammer and sickle painted on it. that has been painted like white or grey with a hammer and sickle on it. And the best thing I've heard for that so far, because lots of people said it could have been a theatre prop, could have been a film prop, blah, blah, blah. One person said it looks like what they used to do when they did war game exercises, you know, where people had to play the commies, where they got some soldiers to play the opposing force. So they had, like, you know, hammers, hammer and sickles, even though the Soviet Union didn't have giant hammer and sickle military uniforms, you know, on it. All right, cool. That's weirdly a popular video YouTube likes to keep uh, recommending, Andre or Andredge. Sorry, how have your names pronounced? Sadly, no. Um, with air guns in the UK, they have to be sold by somebody who can do a face-to-face -face delivery service. So Palpax is where I've got mine online from. Otherwise, you go to a gun shop. But basically, it's the person who delivers it has to kind of be able to do the paperwork. So when Pal Packs deliver, it's actually like a two-person delivery. And then it's one person who's kind of like a registered person who can get out and do the paperwork with you as they're delivering it. So they, you know, arrange a time slot for it and everything. So, yeah, you couldn't sell them on eBay. Well, not legally. I mean, I'm sure if nobody noticed, you could sell an air gun on eBay. But, yeah, you can't sell it legally because they have to transfer the paperwork. But yeah, I'll be finishing the stream off now. So hopefully, um, I know I didn't get to everybody's questions, because again, if people ask for something while I'm looking for something for somebody else, it's a bit difficult. But yeah, I think we found some fairly interesting stuff this stream, and I've got two new masks arriving to do videos on. Uh, that's still technically recommended, though, because if YouTube shows you a video on the sidebar while you're looking for something, or it ranks it in the search results, that's technically it recommending the video. Um... But yeah, but what I mean is normally that's a video of mine that lots of people view per month because YouTube puts it higher up on search results or whatever than, you know, if you get what I'm on about. But anyway, yeah, uh, thanks everybody. It's been a good stream and I'll see you all later. Um, there's a video on at 5 p.m. by the way, so in 50 minutes. So because I've streamed today, I don't know if YouTube will send a notification out. So obviously don't forget there is a video on this evening. And it's about my Italian M33 helmet. So for all the Italians who keep saying more Italian surplus, there's the M33 helmet. Like a month and a half after I bought it, the video's going live. Right, thanks everybody. See ya. And thank you for the donations, everybody. Cheers.